Shingo, you idiot! No, you're the idiot! What? What? I hate you, Shingo! I hate you too! Me and Megumi have never really gotten along with each other. In fact, we hated each other. However, we spent a lot of time together, as we were both raised by single parents. Our parents would always be the last ones to pick us up from kindergarten. Everyone else's parents would come to pick them up one by one. But me and Megumi were always left behind. I hope my mom comes soon. Yeah. Don't talk to me! My bad. We argued like this almost every single day. However, I think we were still kind of grateful for each other. The fact that we weren't completely alone was very comforting. Dad! Sorry for making you wait, Megumi. Mom! Damn, a draw again. I thought I'd be able to leave you all by yourself today. Mmm, too bad, you idiot. Hmm. Shouldn't you be saying goodbye to Shingo? It's okay. Let's go home, Mom. Shingo, you should go and say bye to Megumi. I'm really hungry. I want to go home and eat. My dad was apologizing as I was being very stubborn. Megumi's mom was also apologizing in her place. We watched the same thing happen over and over every day. Many months passed since those days. However, our fates were hopelessly linked together. It's not like we were bound by fate in a romantic sense, though. Our fate was like a piece of gum that we just couldn't scrape off the back of our shoes. No matter how hard we tried to go separate ways, we always ended up together. Even after kindergarten, we were put in the same class in elementary school, middle school, and high school. This is the worst. Stop following me. I'm not following you. I was heading this way already. What, are you stalking me or something? Oh, shut up. I should be able to walk in the direction that I want to. What? What? The only good thing about Megumi was her looks, so a lot of guys were a little jealous of me. However, it was disastrous for me. No matter how pretty her face was, I couldn't like her due to her terrible personality. You guys get what I'm saying, right? If you don't want to walk with me, then you should go take a different path. I was heading down this path already. Okay, let's do this then. What? I don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to me either. You're right. Then we should just cut each other out of our lives. So, you mean... I mean, we should cut ties with each other. Agreed. This is the first time you've actually suggested something useful. I'm glad I could be of use to you for once. Hmm. <laughs> we just kept on walking. We didn't talk. We didn't look at each other either. It was something that we both wanted, but it didn't feel that great. And I finally arrived. What? What are you doing? Please go away. No, you go away. This is where I was heading. Same. We both had a bad feeling as we headed into the cafe. Hey, Shingo, over here. Megumi, oh, thanks for coming after school. Dad, what's going on? Mom, why are you with that guy? You, you told, told me that, that you would introduce, introduce me, to me to the person, person you were getting, getting remarried, remarried to. to. What? what? My dad started speaking as we froze. So, yeah, this is really happening. You guys are going to get along with each other as family members instead of childhood friends from now on. You guys are childhood friends, so we don't need to do introductions, right? Order whatever you want to eat and drink. You too, Megumi. No, no way. way. Seems like our fates were hopelessly linked together. Well, as soon as we try to cut ties with each other, we were drawn together even strongly than before. This has to be a curse of some kind. Anyway, that's how me and Megumi's relationship changed drastically. We became step-siblings. A month had passed since our relationship changed. At the beginning, I thought things would be really awkward as we had just tried to cut ties with each other. 
However, it wasn't that bad. However, things became awkward in another sense. Shingo, hurry up. We're going to be late. There's no need for you to wait for me. Just go ahead. We go to the same school. Let's just go together. Megumi's attitude toward me changed completely. We're gonna get going, Dad. Later! So, that's why we leave the house at the same time and go to school together every day. We haven't done this since the early days of elementary school. Even when we're out in public, her attitude toward me has changed. She treats me as if we're good friends. Hey, Shingo, have you done the homework for maths? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Did you manage to solve question number three? Wasn't it pretty hard? Oh, the question was a little tricky. Why was it tricky? I explained the reasoning to her. Oh, I see. You really are smart, aren't you? Can I ask you for help if I have trouble in the future? Yeah, it's okay, but... Huh? What's the matter? Well, I thought that we cut ties with each other. We did. Then why are we walking to school together like this? Well, it can't be helped. We're siblings now. Yeah, I know that. But there's no need for us to get along, is there? Regular siblings fight all the time, too. What is it? So you're saying that you don't want to get along with me? It's not that I don't like it. Then what is it? It just feels really unnatural. Kind of horrible. Well, that can't be helped. This is what I'm talking about. Why don't you try to fight back? The Megumi that I know would start talking back to me. Well, I do want to fight back. Then why don't you? Don't make me say this over and over. We're siblings now. If we kept on fighting, my mom would be upset. That's it? Yeah, that's the reason. My mom did her best raising me by herself. She's now trying her best to start a new family. I wouldn't want to ruin her effort by getting into fights with you. I don't want to make life difficult for mom. My childhood friend absolutely adored her mom. I guess it makes sense though. They lived together for a really long time. Maybe it can't be helped. I see, so that's the reason. Okay then. We both had very similar personalities. I guess it's because we had a very similar upbringing. My dad was my only family growing up, and my stepmom was all that Megumi had growing up. My dad is very important to me, so I know exactly how she felt about her mom. We both wanted the very best for our parents. We didn't mind becoming friendly siblings for the sake of our parents' happiness. I guess it can't be helped. Let's try to get along then. Guess it can't be helped? That's what I should be saying. Hey, watch it. Your true feelings are leaking. Oh, really? I'm so sorry, big bro. Yeah, don't ever call me that again. As soon as I made a dissatisfied expression, the usual Megumi came out just a little bit. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and get going. I've spent so much time with Megumi as we're childhood friends, but this is the most relaxed we've been together. Ever since that day, we became very close to each other. Everyone can see that we were siblings that got along well. Shingo, I'm stopping by the store on the way home, so come with me. Okay then, what are you planning to buy? I'm not planning to buy clothes, so don't worry. I'm the one in charge of making dinner today, right? I want to buy some ingredients. So you want me to hold the grocery bag, right? Got it. Yeah, thanks. I'll make what you want to eat as a way to say thank you. Any requests? I want to eat rolled cabbage. Okay then, I'll make something delicious. Great. Megumi, I want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'll see you after school then. Got it. Meet me at the front gates. Megumi ran towards her friend and left. Ayase. Wait, her surname changed to Yusa just like you, right? She's changed a lot, hasn't she? Yeah, she has changed. We always thought she was cute, but these days she's become more kind and easy to talk to, right? I'm so jealous that you get to live with such a cute girl. And she's my sister. 
Your childhood friend becoming your stepsister is like a regular plot in romance novels. I have no idea what you're assuming, but it's not like you think. What do you mean? She's become my stepsister and changed a lot, but there aren't any romantic feelings between us. Really? Yeah, really. If that's the case, then there's still a chance that you guys start having feelings for each other as you spend more time together. Like that's gonna happen. You watch too much films and anime. Hey, don't make fun of me for that. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just amazed you could even think up an idea like this. I'm not complimenting you, by the way. The reason why Megumi became king was because she wanted to make her mom happy. If there were any romantic feelings between me and Megumi, it would break down the dream family that her mom longs for. Therefore, Megumi would hate for anything like that to happen between us. So in other words, it means that we would never date each other. After school, I didn't think that you'd buy this much. Everything was on sale today, so I couldn't help it. You knew about this, and that's why you asked me for help, right? Stop complaining. I'm going to make you the rolled cabbage like you requested. That doesn't balance out at all. I think it balances out fine. Well, the vast majority of guys in school basically dream of eating my handmade food. Most of the guys started fighting over the chocolate that I made for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, that's true, I guess. You're kind of popular. See what I mean? Aren't you going to start dating someone? Probably not. Why don't you? Well, there's really no need. I'd rather be doing things for our family instead of going on dates. Well, that might have been the case before, but our family is bigger now. You probably don't have as much housework to do compared to before. You should have the time to go on dates if you wanted to. What? So are you trying to say that you want to get a girlfriend? Go ahead, nobody's stopping you. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. If I'm gonna go somewhere, I'd rather go with my mom than a guy. You really do love your mom, don't you? Yeah, I do. I think it's impressive that you can admit that at our age. You're not able to admit the fact that you love your dad, right? Well, I don't love him. Yeah, whatever. It's true. There's no need for you to hide your true feelings like that. I used to absolutely hate you, but I did like the fact that you had a good relationship with your dad. I think that people that care for their family are great. I wasn't sure if I was being complimented or being made fun of. Eventually, we arrived at the house. A little while later, Megumi was sick and had a fever. Um, I contacted your school already. Uh, should I take the day off work? Let's go to the hospital. There's no need to make such a big deal out of this, Mom. I just have a small fever. I'll be able to sleep it off. But... It's okay, Mom. You need to go to work. You're busy, right? Hurry and go. Make sure you contact me if something happens. Things like this have happened before. Don't worry. Shingo, let me copy your notes once I feel better. Is there anything that you want to eat? I'll go to the store. I don't need anything. I just want to go to sleep. So you should go to school too. After a little while, both Mom and Shingo left my room. Megumi slowly drifted out of consciousness as the fever took over. Once Megumi opened her eyes, a ceiling that she still wasn't used to seeing was in front of her. A familiar face of her childhood friend was there too. Why are you here? I left school early. There was no need to do that. Oh, it feels like old times. I'm sick, so I don't have the energy to act nicely to you. Mom is out the house too, after all. I bought some jelly at the store. It's peach flavor. Your favorite, right? Peach. I don't want it. Shall I measure your temperature? Be quiet. Fine then, I'll be quiet, so go to sleep. It's enough. Just leave already. I don't wanna. 
Well, because I know. I have no idea what you're saying. Also because me and you are family now. I don't get it. I know it can be lonely when you're sick. I also know the feeling where you want someone to be by your side, but you also don't want to be a nuisance, so you stay quiet. Our parents would listen to anything we say if we asked them. In the past, they took days off for us at times like this, and they were probably scolded at work for it at a later day. We don't want that to happen, so we keep our mouths shut. I know you feel that way because I do too. Me and Megumi were similar in many ways. Our thought patterns, our upbringings, the fact that we loved our family, the fact that we couldn't admit we wanted help and we wanted it. However, things are different now. We're family now. You can depend on me when things are tough. If you want me to be by your side, you can tell me. You can use me. Even if the teacher scolds me the next day, it's not that big of a deal, right? We don't really like each other after all, right? Get out! You're still gonna be like this? No, I wanna wipe the sweat from my body, so I want you to leave. Oh, so that's what you mean. While you're out of the room, make me some porridge. I also want to eat the peach jelly for dessert. Okay, I'll go and get it all ready then. You should also prepare some manga, or grab your phone. I'm gonna make you take care of me by my side until my fever goes down. I see. I do hate you. Yeah, I know. But I will say thank you for doing this for me. Okay. Thank you, big bro. I told you not to call me that. You idiot. After that, she ate the porridge that I made for her while complaining. She went to sleep after that and woke up completely recovered the next day. Shingo, hurry up! Just go ahead. I told you this before. We go to the same school, so we should go together. Also, you should fix your hair. And fix my hair? It's a total mess. I'll fix it, so stay still. It's fine. I'll fix it myself. It'll take time if you do it. Here, just let me do it. Okay. This is kind of embarrassing. Really? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Now we're even. I don't owe you anything. Even? Wait, you mean for the time I took care of you when you were sick? Yeah. You better not be serious. Do you not realize how much you used me that day? Let's just call it even. Stop being so stingy. You're the one being stingy. Oh, you're so loud. Don't shout near my ears. Anyway, we really need to get going soon or we're going to be late. Oh, you're right. Let's go already. Yeah, okay. We're leaving the house. Later. They finally left. They were rowdy as usual. Yeah. Seems like they've started to get along pretty well as siblings. I have no idea if it's a good thing or a bad thing. What do you mean? Now that they're family, I'm sure they feel at least a little responsible to get along well. I see. Megumi is very careful and patient. I feel like she's holding back her true feelings. She actually has feelings for Shingo, but she's trying to hide her feelings by being a little mean to him. Shingo was pretty bad at recognizing that kind of thing. I doubt he's noticed at all. However, there are some positives to them becoming family too. They were able to spend so much time together now. So I'm sure they can get to know each other better little by little. There's something that I want to ask you. What if our children want to marry each other someday? I congratulate them, of course. You would too, right? Yeah, of course. Nobody knew if that was ever going to happen, but it was certainly a possibility. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.